Hello, welcome to day 14 of Vlogmas. So today we're gonna be doing the kind of like big event on my island. This is the bill that I sort of have thought about the most. And you can see I've already done the terraforming for it. I wanted to get it all kind of mapped out. What I'm thinking is like a big kind of Christmas marketplace, like some food trucks, hopefully be able to use the merry-go-round that I didn't use um, in the failed carnival build. Um, and lots of little like stalls with like people selling stuff. That's kind of what I'm picturing. But the big major thing that is the reason I had to do a lot of prep for this island because I knew I just wouldn't have time in 30 days to like get as many as I needed is, um, well, let me just show you. <laughs> My vision is to kind of put castle walls all the way around this and I had to order a lot of castle walls. <laughs> Thank you to Ashley who brought over bells so that I could afford to do this um, But what I was kind of imagining was sort of like it's inside the oh, Of course the first thing I put down is wrong. It's inside Like I don't know where I grew up like the flea market was kind of inside like the fairgrounds which sort of had This kind of vibe to it like it's all one big sort of enclosed area but it's like big and open inside i don't know anyway um that's kind of what i was imagining so basically the first thing that i'm gonna do is and actually let me start on the corner and put a tower down because i think that they all might have to be the castle walls look good like when they're sort of halfway with the towers I guess that's kind of the only option or I could pull it out one so which is more important to have like all I guess that makes sense so I was picturing having them on both sides and it looks like you'll still be able to see like a fair amount up here which is the only thing I was a little bit worried about so and even on the side yeah I think that'll be fine to have it not quite halfway like on the vertical but halfway with the tower on like across because i think that's the part you can kind of see better i don't know if that made sense to anybody but me but that's fine <laughs> oh my god i counted this so many times how is this not an even amount I counted this so many times. Oh, you know what it is? Dang, I definitely did not think of that. So because I had two, you can't have two inclines like butting right up to each other. And I had it on the drawing that I did that you could. So I extended this one extra piece. annoying what's the other side looking like because I don't think that they're the same length just because of the I just don't think it worked out that way one thing I feel pretty certain about is that this is gonna cause a lot of lag on my island like there's already lag when you run to uh, like the museum in Santa's house so I can only imagine what all these items are gonna do it's possible that when I countered it across on the drawing, I didn't take into account, even though it was an even number, I didn't take into account that it was one. Okay, well that is unfortunate. I guess we're just going to have to, oh, O'Hare's thinking. Hmm, do we wanna let O'Hare leave? Kind of, if it's for Gabby. Ugh, I don't want your toga. I guess we'll just go back to how it was before I added the extra piece. The only thing it really changes is that more of the staircase is exposed, which really isn't that big of a deal. And just having the inclines like be centered on the piece of land, but that's fine. I'm not gonna cry over that. It does give us a little bit more room on the other side, which I was kind of worried about anyway it butts right up to the fence for the ice skating rink area so you can see where I initially mapped out like where the towers would be that it didn't have that um, didn't have that extra space I'm gonna keep the construction hat on for just a sec while 
I go all the way up just to make sure we're not going to run into the same thing long ways. Okay, that's exact, right? <laughs> okay. So we should be good. Onward and upward. Oh no, did I use all the towers for the Christmas or for Santa? Dang it. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna go grab, let's see, I need one, do I have them on the inside corners? Looks like no, so I only need three. I'm just gonna borrow them from the museum and we'll replace them. One, two, oh no, I came all the way here. Um, okay, well, drop that. Oh wait, did I leave the pathing under there on the other one? Okay, whatever, I'll fix that later. So on the drawing, I have a castle tower in the front, but not in the back corner on the inside. So I'm really not sure how that's going to uh, work out. I almost think that this corner looks better than when it's done the other way, because when two meet up like that, obviously like they don't get close enough. And I guess if this one is, like in front of it like that. I mean, it doesn't look as bad, but I think maybe I'll do the towers in the back corners instead. I think that's gonna look better. Oh, but something's, something's not adding up here. <laughs> um, hmm. Should not be able to be here. Okay, let's do the back half and see what it's, what it's looking like. I think I'm gonna have one space on each side of the incline. So I think I'll just put like a street lamp there or something, or the marketplace banner um, from Pocket Camp. This thing. I could put it like that, or I could put it like that. I feel like that looks okay, right? I don't know, kind of cool. Um, so castle tower in the back and just have them butt up right next to each other in the front. Okay. Dang. Did not leave room for a castle tower back here because I put a tree here. I guess I could just, just do away with the tree. I guess he's not essential. <laughs> I also got all these castle gates. Um, I guess I wasn't really sure like if I would need them or if I'd want them, but I'm not really sure where I'd put them that they'd look good. So I think they might just <laughs> go to waste. May have overshot it a little bit on ordering the castle walls. <laughs> Probably should have ordered more castle towers, less castle walls. Um, I wonder if I was thinking that I would also put them on like the second tier, but um, I definitely don't really want to do that. So, don't know. Let's see how that looks on the front if I were to do that. Yeah, I think it just, like, you wouldn't be able to see anything. It would totally, like, you wouldn't be able to have anything up here, which I think I'm going to want to do. So, also, that'd be a lot of items, and I'm sure the game really wouldn't like that. And as far as the castle gates go, oops, that's a wall. I mean, oh my gosh. I could put them like in front of the inclines, but I don't know. I don't really think that's like, I don't think the look is really that worth it. So I think we'll just leave that. Okay. I need to take a break, get dinner, and also give Prometheus dinner because he is <laughs> literally clawing at my arm currently. Um, and I'll be back. 
Okay, I'm back. It's quite a few hours later. And so all the walls are done. And um, I'm definitely not going to be able to do everything I want to do in this build today because I know I just know that I'm gonna want to keep like tweaking different sections and there's just gonna be a lot happening but what I wanted to start with was sort of like the setup of stalls because what I was thinking was kind of having um, like festival stalls sort of in like a little square or um, like a horseshoe shape you know these dung beetles like really crack me up. It's so funny to me every single time, two, even two years later, to like just walk by and just see this little gentleman like just doing his thing, <laughs> rolling up a snowball. Like, hello? Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought about like having like a little horseshoe of like these stalls. Obviously, I'm not putting them like perfectly because there's a bunch of stuff in the way, but you know, you get the idea, right? And so you walk in and this is kind of like the main sort of square right in front of the plaza. And then over here, oh my gosh, this is actually a lot of space. Um, oh, but we have food trucks, so we're going to need a lot of space. Um, have some food trucks and then maybe on this side of the square have uh, like the merry-go-round and something like that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Actually, this is a little bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be. So maybe we can go ahead and just like go for it. And then I have some stuff like a popcorn machine and like a cotton candy machine that I thought could kind of, you know, kind of goes with it. Um, and then I could maybe have the little like plaza train here too, because I do think the train is cute. Um, like one thing I've done before at Happy Home Paradise is had the train and then like two benches next to it, kind of like, you know, they're like, they look like the cars, but obviously they're just a bench. <laughs> um, so maybe I could have that for like a little seating area for people waiting for the merry-go-round. And then like the cotton candy stall and the popcorn. Oh, I kind of want to see the side of that though. Whatever. You know, you know what I mean. So, let's see what kind of benches we have. I mean, maybe these could look like it, or maybe this. We'll just try everything. <laughs> what do we think? Does that look like a train? Actually, kind of. You know, that kind of, it has like the right vibe, I feel like. Oh, that's kind of cute. Choo-choo. Okay, um, next option. That one's a little less convincing. And they don't fit together as closely. Mm. Yeah, not loving that. Next option. I mean, I feel like you're still kind of getting the idea that they're little train cars, but I do kind of like the way that the swinging benches look. Yeah, they just fit together so nicely. I think that's kind of cute. And maybe have some sort of um, custom design underneath. I'm not sure what yet though. I don't know if I want to have pathing. I don't think I want pathing under everything in here. I think that would just be a little bit too much. But like I have a little bit of stone pathing in front of gables. So potentially I could continue that elsewhere. Also, I um, switched out the stall designs in front of Abel's and the candy cane design for this kind of gingerbread candy cane one. So that's new. Satisfying. Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. I don't know what else to do here. I don't know what to do all the way. Like, it's kind of a lot of real estate to have sort of usable space up here. I kind of hadn't thought <laughs> that far ahead. Okay, let's get stuff. I 
only thing, well, I mean, you get pretty good, like, visibility. When you're standing in the middle, you can kind of see all of it. So it's not too bad. And they'll have, like, stuff in front, too. Um, not just stuff, like, on the stalls. At least that's what I'm thinking. Is that even? Mm, I kind of feel like they're not. Oh, now they look even to me. Okay, I think that's even. <laughs> need something kind of tall here. Maybe like one of those decorative columns. So I could use these in a different color. Could do the ice columns. Let's see. I think that's too tall. Ooh, that could be kind of good. I'd have to order another one, but that's kind of cute, right? Hmm, I mean the clock's like block, but, <laughs> clock, block, but you can't really tell that it's a clock. I mean, yeah, let's order another one of those while we're thinking about it. Let's see, we could do the plaza arch here since we have the clock towers in the corner. I wish you could put arches on either side of an incline, like scoot it all the way up on either side, you know? But you cannot. I think I'm just gonna have time to place all the big stuff today. So let's go ahead and, oh, I want that. Oh, that's another thing I saw somebody use for wheels on the train, is these backwards. Okay, we'll try that too. Um, but I wanna pull out the trucks. We'll leave that there just in case. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my goodness. This is a big guy. <laughs> Oh well, there's no room to make a snowman here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, food trucks. So we kind of need them to be like on the side so that we can see the window. Don't ask questions about how these trucks got in here, okay? That's strictly on a need to know basis. Okay, we've got, oh wait, there's two ramen. I think it looks better with the red. Oh wait. Well, we could have two red trucks. Okay, so we only really need one, like, coffee one. So do we want coffee or do we want hot chocolate? The only thing is I wanted to use this, where is it? This custom design on the street lamp to have like, you know, Brewster's Brew, like sold here kind of thing. Um, which I feel like makes more sense with coffee. Although he does serve hot chocolate on Valentine's Day. But this one has the little like Brewster logo. I think like this one kind of, well, no, they all do. Okay, I think no to this one and So we'll have like ramen, burgers, and coffee. How does that sound? I don't want two red trucks if I only have three. So let's do the fries on a different color truck. So that's an option. We don't have to have them butt to bumper like that. But then we could have some seating here. Or we could put some of the trucks along the second level. Oh, I mean, that takes up kind of the whole thing. But what if they're on, oh wait, there isn't as much space back here. What if 
they're up here. That's kind of cute. I sort of like them with the um, castle wall behind like that. And they don't really block too much of the view behind them because they're not really that much taller than the castle wall. I like that much better, actually. And then this, I don't know what we're gonna do with all that space now, but <laughs> I think that looks so cute. And have some like little tables and chairs and um, maybe little like menu boards out front. Ooh, I'm getting excited, okay. Um, so if we have food up here, that actually sets a good precedent because I really wanna do like a really cute little bakery stand because I got some really cute baking designs. I trailed off in the middle of a sentence, no idea what I was talking about, but I got cute um, baking designs and we can use them for some little stalls. And I got little apple cider ones too. Ooh, I'm so excited. I think this is gonna look so cute. And I will rage quit if it doesn't. <laughs> oh my gosh, so precious. I could also have them like pull it out so there's like room for stuff in between but I kind of like it all the way up like that okay I definitely need these barrels here maybe two oh I'm so excited this is like my jam <laughs> this kind of stuff is my fave sort of thing to decorate okay oh yeah let's try those street organs and then unfortunately I'm gonna have to call it a day because you guessed it, it's almost two in the morning. <laughs> well, actually, from here, I mean, it does kind of look cute. I don't know. Let me know what you think between like those two options because that looks cute, but then it's, whoops, but then it's not really functional. But if you do the swinging benches, it's also, you know, seating. Since I'm gonna continue this build tomorrow, you can just let me know what you think and I will take it into consideration. Oh, we could put scooters and stuff like outside the entrance, like people left their transportation. Oh my gosh, so cute, okay. Oh yeah, I, um, I couldn't record earlier, but I was ready to play. So I filled in all the beaches with some pathing and some snowmen. <laughs> I'll probably still do more to it, but that at least gets a little something on there. Um, and hopefully I'll think of something else to put on there. I wish there were like big piles of snow. Um, I know the like glowing moss boulder kind of looks like snow, but it also kind of looks like radioactive snow. So I don't know if that's really my first choice, but um, okay. I just, ooh, I can't help myself. I just want to, decorate the um, apple cider <laughs> really quick. Just really quick. Oh, I think that looks so cute. Move this back a little bit again. I love it. Okay, so that's gonna do it for today. This was day 14 of Vlogmas. So there are 13 other episodes up now if you'd like to catch up. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like. If you wanna see more from me, you can subscribe. If you wanna keep up with me elsewhere on the internet, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Pocket of Fish. And I'll see you tomorrow.